welcome back to the channel. Today we're heading over to a very old friend that I've not seen for a long, long time. Uh, he has his own garage, massively involved in the Mitsubishi and Subaru world. Um, so we're heading over there, have a coffee, have a catch up, have a bit of breakfast, hopefully. Um, I was going to bring the Mini along but I think the weather's going to be absolutely horrific. So we've come along in the Jeep, the family everyday car. This thing is pretty cool. The off-road capability and on-road capability is amazing uh, and it costs peanuts. I have of course got my boy along with me today. We're going to go for a little walk as well so we'll try and get everything on, on video but for now we're going to head there, it's about a half an hour drive uh, and enjoy the scenery along the North Wales coast. So I'll see you there. Evo 6 Tommy Mackinac editions uh, on the planet and I've asked if it's there today just to mainly have a look around it the reason I'm going today is he used to look after my old Evo uh, and I've not really seen him since I sold it so I got in touch and I said look we need we need to have a catch up it's been it's been too long so uh, Today was his pretty much only free day, although he will be in the garage uh, working. Uh, oh my god, there's a GTR flying past us now. <sighs> Come on, little GTR. <laughs> uh, so yeah, we're heading there. Um, he has said, however, that uh, yeah, his Evo isn't there, but there is three, three. Evos that need test driving or test, yeah, road testing, road testing. Um, but we'll see. I'm not. I don't really want to leave my boy to sit on his own. I think that's very fair that he sits on his own, uh, and I know that he wouldn't really like that. So even just having a look, even just having a look at them um, will be will be great. I get some nice photos and a little walk around video of them. Uh, so yeah, some exciting stuff.
little crazy. I didn't get much video in, <laughs> especially of us talking, and I didn't do a, a video of introducing Ant, the owner of Sideways. He was quite busy in between jobs. Um, we ran out for a quick coffee, but we literally just spoke and had a major catch up for an hour, pretty much an hour solid of just catching up. We worked out that I've actually not been there for the year, just over, well, just over a year and a half, which is an awfully long time. Uh, the last time I was there, my Evo was parked outside and I almost cried because it was in an absolute state, essentially going through an engine rebuild. <laughs> not that that's the last reason I went there, that's not the reason at all, but um, I guess life just passes by, you get busy, you, families, houses, you know. Um, so it was amazing, amazing to see him and, and, and to see what he's been up to and to see his business and things have changed massively and he's, he's doing really well which is, which is good to see. Uh, there's a couple, of, uh, a couple of rally evos, tarmac and sort of forestry, gravel and um, off-road off -road evos, I, I don't know what they call them. A couple of street cars in there, Evo 3, I've never seen an Evo 3 in person. And that Tommy Mackinnon, that is dreamy. Genuine Tommy Mackinnon, no messing. Pretty much OEM spec, but a little bit, a little bit nicer, a little, a little, couple of few upgrades on that. Uh, so yeah, overall, really good day. We're now just heading back. Kai's fast asleep. Ant's got a dog, and, and he spends a lot of time there. So they're running around the grass outside and. Uh, playing with each other, they found a football, I, I don't know where from, but they found a football and they were playing with the football, so. Um, in other news though, Ant has agreed next year to help me find my next Evo, which will be exciting. Uh, I, my favourite Evo of all time is Evo 7, hashtag Fast and Furious, I, I don't know, I, I like the front end. My last one had an Evo 9 rear end, which is just beautiful, but I think I'm going to go Evo 5, Evo 6 sort of era, the, the older ones, because if I got another Evo 7, let's say 7, I would compare the shit out of it to my old one. And for those who don't know, my old one was pretty much pristine, from Japan. It turned out that I actually had an Evo 8 fully forged block in it, um, which I didn't know until I asked Slideways to take the balance shaft out. Uh, those with Evos and understanding of Evos will know why I asked them to do that. Uh, but when they when they did that job, I was abroad and I got a call, a FaceTime off Ant. He's a bit ecstatic. Uh, and he's, he explained all the figures and everything and, and the numbers on the block. And, and it turned out that somebody, whoever owned it in Japan before myself, uh, had done this engine swap literally to near perfection where you couldn't even tell uh, that it had been done. So, Evo 5 or 6, I don't know which one, I, I've not really looked into them that much. From what I can see, they both look the same. Uh, near enough, probably little changes here and there. Um, so, I'm gonna end the video here, because I'm actually now on my way to meet another friend, Dave Price, uh, KFC, just to get a bit of bit of chicken and uh, yeah I'll be uploading another video pretty soon of some changes on the mini uh, so thumbs up uh, and subscribe if you like what you see